Got right here five more spider core knife. I got some uh, special pretty vintage spider core but guess what this ones are under two and a half inches I think so let's see what they're all about I think this one I leave for the best I mean for the end best for the end right okay let's see which one is this Magby pin this is the name for the knives so this ones are brand new addition to my collection don't worry guys pretty soon I'm gonna be opening the other brands as well because spider core did so well I had to buy more to show you guys plus I really like them anyways there you go spider core CTX X HP and it's kind of nice hold it like that kind of like a box cutter super cute knife love it and I think this is a logo by the designer maybe I don't know so then you can close it very very easily. I love spider core knives. Very very easy to open it and close it, but at the same time you really have to practice. Boom. So it's perfect layer pocket knife for box cutting and I don't know cutting zip ties, whatever. That was a good flick idea. What do you guys think? Beautiful knife right here. With these little short ones, I feel like I always cut myself because they so tiny and awkward. Easier to cut yourself for sure. Okay, what else I got here? Chaparral Reefer Noble, maybe. Made in Taiwan, another one. Ooh, look at that one. That one does look pretty cool. Check this out. The handle is pretty cool, flashy. I like it. Okay doesn't flick that easily this one because it has a lock at your back lock so you press it close it pretty standard so you see even if when you try to flick it it's kinda really really tough so it's one of those folding knives that is quite nice but cannot be flicked really really easily so it's a back lock knife boom okay one more time and check it out Check out the close-up, so beautiful. You know what, I never put to the test how sharp these knives are. Let's try to cut paper. Got a piece of paper over here, let's try it. Wow, spider core knives are so nice. Look, just holding it with two fingers. Whoa. I'm not even trying. Look into the camera, so. Wow, do you see that? This is the sharpest knives ever. So satisfying. Ooh, broke off a piece. Not good. But yeah, they all spider co pretty sharp. Fuck, they're sharp. Love it. This one's kind of tough to open. Okay, another Taiwan made dog tag CFBK pin. Okay. Oh yeah, another one. I think I haven't put to the test this one. I have two other pin, a spider core knife. Mm, look at this one, shiny. Okay, let's see how, how to open it with one hand. Oh, somewhat easy, love it. Maybe open it easy with one hand, but closing it to be safe. I feel like it's definitely two hand closing knife. Okay, what else we got here? Lil Lum Nishine pin. I don't know how to pronounce it, but yeah, this one is very cute. Probably one of my favorites. Look at that shine. There's a logo. Also kind of slow to open it and it locks over here, but I love it. The design of this knife, it's like a mini machete. You see what I'm talking about? Very cool. Very thick blade right here. Almost like a round blade. Love it. And they hold it 
spider co has beautiful you can open this one fast by flicking it this way no problem closing it you have to go slow about it because there's a little luck okay I guess you could open it fast too with the finger too if you practice but nothing is going to flick out like this one that's the fastest way I feel like in my experience I'm sure there's a better way to do it very cool knife I love that design so thick compared to handle and the handle is so beautiful okay let's see what else I have this one is a special I feel like I should be filming this by itself the spider core knives usually go more expensive after a while because they are collectors so anyways I don't really know when it was made but this is Q I think that's what it's called anyways the luck is also very very unique that's it that's how you like it so I almost wanna call it like a weirdest knife ever made never been used and look at that logo it's like a spider spider web knife and a spider in the middle of it a lot of people are gonna say wood tick it looks like wood tick we got you you don't like the spider or not a big deal okay everybody likes their own thing you don't have to like everything what everybody likes right but for those people who love the spider core will appreciate that knife they said here I'm not really sure if it's some kind of plastic feels like 3d printed almost and these pins stick out a little bit uh, pretty unique anyways let's start to flick it nothing flicky about it but the way close it that's very unique you could even do it from this side or this side and it comes up a lot so it's a little pin right here and right here wow easy and it's a serrated knife is that what it called very cool so if you're left-handed you can also use it like that too beautiful knife what do you guys think spiderweb knife it doesn't have any logos on the blade because almost none existed let me know in comments below I really love it they have a whole bunch of different design so far I only have this one they're expensive people selling them for over $200 but yeah a lot of people like them and make videos of them so yeah which one was your favorite obviously this one is more special but I feel like this one is the coolest 